The next few of these poems hark back to my younger days in the Boise Valley in Idaho, where we lived on a little dairy farm and sold milk and eggs for a living and scratched any way we could to make a dime because, of course, these were depression years and times were tough. The first of these poems is a little thing that represents how we managed to work together in those days, and I call it Pancake Breakfast. On a cool early morning one time in the fall, I drove over to Foster's at their beck and call to help out with some thrashing that they needed done, because their wheat was now ripe from the hot summer sun. Now, in days that I speak of, we didn't get pay, but each neighbor would come in and work for a day, and the fellow he worked for would pay him in kind, because money in those days was danged hard to find. So we traded our work, and no money changed hands, but we helped out each other in farming our lands. And the best you could hope for in this kind of deal was to wish that the farm wife would serve a good meal. Well, I got to the Fosters. It's seven o'clock, and the Teamsters had harnessed up all of their stock and had come in to breakfast to start out the day, and I soon saw that pancakes were well on their way. Now, that house weren't the cleanest that you ever saw, and there were numerous kids, just like mice in the straw, sort of squirming and wiggling. They came in a drove, and they pestered their ma around the old kitchen stove as she turned over pancakes to feed all the men and poured in some more dough so as to feed them again. So they ate real hearty. It's some hours till noon. But I had this bad feeling they'd eaten too soon because I saw this small urchin, his bottom plumb bare as he tugged at the skirts of his mother, still there, cooking even more pancakes, her turner in hand, and I see that she's had about all she can stand. She turned over a couple. The kid is still there with his gray, dirty shirt and his bottom still bare. With that old hot cake turner, she whacked his behind and to change kitchen tools never entered her mind. And so as she flipped over one or two more and inquired if I'd eaten, I thought, that's for sure. And I answered her question with lying aplomb, saying, thanks a lot, ma'am. I had breakfast at home.